Welcome back. Now news from sports. Sporting Club the Goa took on Prague United in their inaugural I-League match of the season. Sporting South Sudan signing James Moga cancelled Yusuf Yakubu's goal in the 33rd minute after Yakubu had got Prayag in front. Yakubu scored again in the second half but James spoiled Prayag's party one more time as he scored late in the 83rd minute. The match ended in a two-all draw earlier before kick-off Flaming Orange pulled off all the stops to give the spectators a warm welcome releasing their mascot and official club anthem. Yusuf Yakubu donned the Prayag United jersey for the first time this I-League season and made quick work of Sporting's defence as the strikers scored early in the ninth minute of the first half. The much-talked-about South Sudanese striker James Moga seemed to have adjusted quickly to the surroundings as he scored his first goal on Indian soil in the 33rd minute. Then in the 77th minute, Yusuf Yakubu scored again and hoped that this time around Prayag would go home with three points. But James Moga had other plans as in the 83rd minute, he doubled his tally. Flaming Orange came from behind yet again to draw the match to all. The match ended, Sporting 2, Prayag United 2. Sporting seem to have put the lessons they learned from Japan's J League to use as they entertained the fans with a pre-match bonanza. Before the kickoff, Flaming Orange got their underage tournament underway, followed by the unveiling of their mascot Zumba, and the club also unveiled their anthem. From Fatorda, our reporter Samir Bhatt. The New Zealand All Blacks ended their 24-year wait to etch their names on the Rugby World Cup as they beat France 8-7 in the finals. The tourist season has just begun in Goa and hence the finals attracted huge amounts of tourists to enjoy the finals. The Goa Rugby Football Union took this as an opportunity to further reach out to prospective players and fans of the sport in Goa. GRF organized a special screening of the match between the All Blacks and France at a sports pub in Baga. Watched a special report. The place was abuzz with fans from both the All Blacks and France supporting the awards. Then there were a few neutrals who supported the underdogs, France. The match started off well for the All Blacks as they systematically capitalised and scored. At the halftime hooter, the All Blacks were sitting pretty, but a spirited French fight back was on the cards in the second half as they fought hard to narrow All Blacks' lead to a minimum. Pruden got up close with the fans of both the French and the All Black teams. Liam, how are you enjoying the match so far? All Blacks uh, ruling over, over here so far? I mean, we could, uh, we could have a, more points on the board, it would be more comfortable, but so far it looks like we're in control, so quite happy as we're going at the moment. Yeah. Right. And uh, football, a big sport in your con uh, country, cricket as well, a big sport in your country. Which are you a bigger fan of? Oh, rugby, hands down, mate. If our cricket team was half as good as our rugby team, it might be the other way around, but no, the All Blacks. Right. And a few similarities between you and Dan Vittori, what do you have to say about that? Oh, well, um, I mean, if I, if I could captain a cricket team as well, then uh, I'd be a very happy chap, but otherwise I'll just have to stick to my day job. 5-0 up in this uh, match, you feel New Zealand, gonna, the All Blacks going to do it? Oh yeah man, just uh, once we get back from the half, it's going to go, it's going to be, I'm still predicting 20 points plus, yeah, yeah. France making the finals, uh, how are you enjoying the game? I'm very excited about the game and I hope France will win. It's pretty tight now, but uh, I hope they're going to make it. Uh, it's, it's been quite a surprise the way France has played, France has played very well uh, coming up to the finals. Do you expect France would be in the finals? Uh, I expect a pretty tight game, uh, maybe a tight game. But uh, they will come back. <laughs> yeah, but I always be friends in the heart, but whatever I'm in the world, it, it's a very important event. So uh, it's good that in Goa we can see the game. Okay. And uh, what, uh, which fan are you a bigger fan? Which sport are you a bigger fan of? Football or rugby? More football, but I like rugby a lot. We just got a try from New Zealand, but uh, I'm confident and I'm sure we will win soon. How, is it, how does it feel coming all the way from France in Goa and you're getting to watch the finals here? How does it feel? Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to, to see the game uh, in Goa because I'm in Paris because here yeah, it's warm and uh, we have the beach and in Paris it's cold and uh, it's raining all the time so I'm very happy to be here. And what fan are you, a soccer fan or a rugby fan? Uh, 
I, I like both. GRFU, who organized the big screen showing of the finals, were upbeat to say nonetheless. We're trying to get a new uh, look to Goa tourism. We're trying to get a new face to it. We're trying to get Goans to be involved with the new sport. This, this is what it's all about. This place is packed. This place is buzzing. This place has a new life today. And uh, rugby's arrived. Rugby's in Goa finally. Yeah, it's a tremendous contest. We were not expecting France to do that well against All Blacks because they have been uh, the number one team throughout this year and they have not been defeated by any. A very close finish. I must predict that. It's going to be a very close finish. Sandeep, how are you enjoying the match? It's good. It's going to be good. And the chance to win New Zealand. Who are you supporting? It's going to be good. All Blacks. In the end, the French fight back ran out of steam as the All Blacks ran the clock and won by a narrow scoreline of 8-7. From Baga, our sports reporter Nikhil Pereira with video journalist Sarvesh Viluskar. And with this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudent Media. Thank you.